Hey, what's up? Kalen here. In this video, I am going to give you some tips on your business cards for Magento Imagine. So here's the catch 22. We're all very proud. These are my cards I'm about to show you. We're all very proud of our business cards. We spend a lot of time and money on them. These are my Commerce Hero cards. If you had any idea how thick, we call these the coasters because that's how thick they are. You can throw them like ninja stars, okay? We're all very proud of our business cards. These are my, these are my old mage mail cards, okay? My old mage mail cards, shaped like an envelope. Come on, somebody. Also thick. Look at the thickness of that sucker. Now here's the catch twenty two. In my personal opinion, and I'm not an expert on these things, you don't want to be the guy or the gal who every time you meet somebody, you're like, "Here's my card." Here's my card. Hey, have a card. Have a card. Have a card. See, because we all, you know, have that. People hit you with cards and, and you know, you just have this pile of cards you throw away. Um, in my opinion, you don't want to offer the card. You only want to give the card if somebody asks you for it. So I did another video recently talking about don't really focus on pitching yourself hard. Focus on the conversation. Focus on the person. Focus on building relationships. And if you connect with somebody and, you know, you're having a good conversation for whatever reason and then they're like, hey, do you have a card or what's your email or what? That's when you hit them with the card. It's very difficult because, again, we're all very proud of our cards. I'm, I'm extremely proud of this card. I'm not going to lie. But you have to, uh, you have to exercise constraint, in my opinion, and not offer the card uh, unless somebody asks for it. So that's the tip. If you have any thoughts on that, tweaks to that approach, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I don't know, I don't know how to close this out. Thank you. All done.